So what is an atom? An atom is the smallest particle of an element. It's very, it's a unique uh, compared to other elements. And it's made of protons, electrons, and neutrons. We actually define an atom by its number of protons. We'll take a look at what that means in just a moment. If we look at the general structure of atom, we have protons, neutrons, and electrons. The protons and the neutrons are here in the nucleus, in the center of the atom. So protons are positively charged particles, neutrons are neutral particles, and electrons are negatively charged particles. The electrons uh, orbit around the outside of the nucleus, and we'll talk a little bit more about what that structure is of electrons in, a moment, in our next unit. If we look at the subatomic particles, protons are symbolized by P positive, and we'll look at that a lot more in uh, nuclear chemistry, have a one positive charge. The general mass is around one atomic mass units, and it's found in the nucleus. So this table just summarizes where you can find the particles and their size. Notice that the electron has a very, very small mass, so it doesn't really contribute much to the mass at all. If we look at the periodic table, we can actually find the number of protons for each element by finding the atomic number. So the atomic number here for magnesium is 12, so the number of protons for magnesium is 12. The number of electrons in an atom are, all, are going to be equal to the number of protons, so that's 12 as well for this one. Note that the electrons can change. So we'll look at what happens when they change uh, after exam one. The number of protons cannot. The neutrons, we're going to use the mass number and subtract the atomic number to find the number of neutrons. But we can't find the mass numbers by looking on the periodic table. So where can we find the mass number. So the mass number you would have to be given or find experimentally. And so when we write a element, we can write the mass number. So this is our mass number as the top number here. So notice that the mass number can be different for different atoms of the same element. This is because they have different numbers of neutrons. So this different uh, atoms of the same element with different numbers of neutrons are called isotopes. So these are different isotopes of magnesium. To find the number of neutrons, we take the mass number, subtract the atomic number, and we have 12 neutrons for magnesium 24. For magnesium 25, we have 25 minus 12 gives us 13 neutrons. So keep that in mind. Individual atoms of a particular element can have different numbers of neutrons, giving them different mass numbers. If we look at another example, carbon-13, atomic number is 6, so it's got 6 protons, 6 electrons. 13 minus 6 gives us 7 for the number of neutrons. This 13 would have to be given to you. So notice this is another way of writing that isotope, because sometimes we don't want to draw it out. We can write it as carbon-13 or C13. I want you to take a moment to practice this, so if you could pause your video and try out each of these. We already did magnesium 24, so if you recall, magnesium has a atomic number of 12. That tells us the number of protons. 
So that's, we're able to determine our protons. The electrons are equal to our protons in an, uh, an uncharged atom. Our neutrons are going to be the difference between our mass and our protons. So 24 minus 12 gives us 12. We can do the same thing with all of the others. Potassium is 19. The number of electrons is going to be the same. The neutrons is going to be the difference.